So I was searching around for some carpet cleaners, and um, I happened to have my um, SERP, works, uh, SERP overlay um, active. Uh, so I thought I'd make this video to show you uh, how important on-page SEO is, um, especially when it comes to H tags. Um, now, H tags are one thing that are commonly overlooked when developing a website, um, especially if you're not using uh, a web designer or a web developer who knows um, on-page SEO as well as he thinks he does. Um, oftentimes, you'll see this with Wix sites or with somebody who um, hires their nephew to uh, throw up a WordPress site for them. But um, this one little thing can have big consequences for your organic uh, traffic. Um, so right here you can see where I was searching for Irvine carpet cleaning and uh, down here you can see on the map pack there's active chem dry and let's see number four here too dry carpet cleaning OC active chem dry. Um, so one of the reasons why they're in the map pack besides um, having the citations and um, let's see having 47 reviews you can see here it, it's even more than 95 is their on-page SEO is on point. Um, just by looking at the SERP work SERP overlay here, you can see that they've got their properly structured um, uh, H tags. They have one H1, two H2, two H3, and eight H4. Um, now this H tag right here, this is the one that's really important. Um, H1 tags are sacred to Google. Um, they signal to Google what the content of the page is supposed to be about, and Google takes a lot of um, uh, a lot of their information from the H1 tags. Uh, you can also see here they have 297 links to their domain, um, which isn't bad, especially not for a, a local carpet cleaning company. Um, and you can see here they're uh, ranking at number four, which is really, really good. Now, if we go down here to number eight, though, you can see here they've got more links. Their DA is higher, 26, compared to 19, which isn't really um, a factor that Google uses. Um, this is a proprietary Moz um, factor, but it's it's better than nothing to use as far as taking a quick look at the site. Um, like I said, they've got over 800 links, but they're still ranking number eight. Why? They have no H1 tags. They have 11 H2 and 21 H3. I'm sure one of these could be an H1 tag, but as it stands, Google is confused as to what this page is about. That's why one of the reasons why they're ranking number eight. Even though they have similar um, content length and keyword density, you can see here they've got 1,700 words with a keyword density of zero, and this one has 1,400 keyword density of zero. Even worse, though, is look at here, number 10. Even though I search for Irvine Carpet Cleaning, and they have Irvine Carpet Cleaning right here in their, in their title, they are ranking number 10. Why? Look at this. They have two H2 tags. Even worse than having zero H1 tags they have, is having two H1 tags. If you have two H1 tags, it means you're trying to optimize for two different keywords on one page, and Google does not know what this page is about. And if Google gets confused, you get ranked lower. And I want to show you exactly how much of an issue this is. So for dry carpet cleaning, you can see here they get 273 organic searches per month. Um, so if we go to... IrvineCarpetCleaning.net, that was the one I think was in number, let's see, that was in number eight. That goes down to 104. So they're going from 273 at the number four position to 104 number eight. A loss of just four spots in the first page of Google will could effectively cut your traffic in half. Now if we go to the one that was number 10, five. They're getting five per month. Five people from Google are clicking on their uh, search result because they're ranked number 10. Behind the number 8, which is 104, and number 4, which is 273. And the H tags, the misuse of H tags is a big, big reason for this. I mean, look at this. One little thing, not optimizing this one small thing can have disastrous consequences for your website. And this proves it. Um, you can go into any other searches, and I I am sure that you'll find more often than not, if a site is misusing H tags, all things being equal, they will be ranking on the bottom of the first page or off the first page completely. Um, so anybody here who has a local business, make sure that you are getting your H1 tags properly um, 
properly used and properly deployed on your site. See right here, zero. This is it's killer. Um, so if you're wondering how to do that, it's really easy. Um, here's a test page that I have um, spun up already. If you're using WordPress, it, it could be any easier. You type in what you want for your H1 tag. Go over here. Usually this says paragraph. Go over here, click the drop down, and go into heading one. Uh, heading one and H1 is short for heading one tag. And it's the same thing. You don't want to use more than one, but if you need to break down your page into different subtopics, then it's the same thing. You, you go to what you want to um, put a heading tag on, and then you do heading two. See? And you can have multiple H2 tags. That's not even a problem. Um, but just to set everything up logically and to make things more user-friendly and, and to kind of uh, break up the flow, the flow in, a, in, a, in a more efficient manner, um, you might want to even go down and use H3, H3, H4, H5 tags. Um, I generally don't go down past H4 simply because you start not being able to tell the difference between the heading tags and the paragraph tags in WordPress. Um, but if you do it like this, you can see the difference between the font sizes and um, it's really easy to make out what dirt certain um, subtopics are for the copy on your page. You can see here H1 tag, this is bigger than the H2 tag, H2 tag is bigger than the H3 tag. Um, the problem is, like I said, as you get farther down, these H tags start becoming more and more akin to the size of their your body content. So uh, I really wouldn't recommend going down further than H3 or H4. Um, so that's it. This is just a really quick video showing you how important one little thing on your page, um, how important that is to SEO and the types of consequences that you can see if you don't properly de deploy that one little thing. And that one little thing is the H tag. So remember when you have your, when you're setting up your website or when your developer is setting up your website, double check and make sure the H1 tags are properly used or else you're not going to be getting any sort of traffic. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or visit us um, at Evergreen Marketing Solutions. The link will be in the description. Thank you.